This is Twit. When somebody is looking at Hubble Stack, starting to use it, what problem are they trying to solve? So, you know, we all know that our infrastructures have continued to get more and more complex as more and more of uh, the software that we write is distributed across thousands or hundreds of thousands of nodes. Um, and as that infrastructure gets more and more complex, it's harder to get a, a real view of um, the security status of of all of our nodes um, and to spot problems before they're big problems. Um, and so, you know, we, we created Hubble Stack to kind of help us, you know, look into that galaxy of complexity. You know, we, 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 we joke with the space metaphors over here. Um, you know, yep. we... It, it's just like the space telescope. We can look into those those depths of our infrastructure and and pull out the information that we need to uh, keep ourselves secure. And just to give you an example from a personal example, because I'm at ZipRecruiter, um, we're using something like uh, I don't know three or four hundred AWS machines. We've got uh, probably about twenty different technology stacks. Um, you know, Python and Perl and uh, Apache and Node.js and a bunch of other stuff. Java, even in some of the places. Uh, we even had Windows machines in there for a while, but thank God we finally replaced that code, so we wouldn't have to run a window in the cl Windows in the cloud. So, um, so how how did how did this get started though? It sounds like you you've been with it since the beginning. Yeah, so I actually uh, this this is a project that is uh, uh, sponsored and I don't I, I guess I don't know the the official branding terms, but anyway, I work I, I work for Adobe and I was hired at Adobe to um, do this project. Uh, so Adobe uh, ho hosts this open source project, um, and it's Apache 2 licensed. And basically, uh, we had some issues with an existing vendor that we were using for some of our auditing. Um, we weren't. We weren't super happy with their product, um, and it was very expensive. And uh, so, uh, Christopher Edwards, who is the other co-founder of Hubble, um, is a big Salt Stack fan, and I was working for Salt uh, at the time. And uh, he decided he he figured that we could use Salt, which allows us to uh, uh, abstract away so many of the uh, the details of of the operating systems on our hosts. Um, we could use SALT and uh, build on top of SALT this auditing system um, and monitoring system. And uh, it turned out that uh, it was really good. <laughs> and so uh, at Adobe, you know, it quickly became, uh, it went from a proof of concept to, oh, we need to deploy this everywhere tomorrow uh, <laughs> very quickly. So it's it's been kind of a wild ride. But um, but yeah, so I work, I work full time at Adobe and Basically, all my time there is spent on Hubble Stack. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of yeah, what, how, how it started. One of the great things I know about Salt, I don't know a lot about Salt. Uh, they use it here. I mean, like I said, we have many, many technologies that are in, in play right here. Um, but the um, but it, it's very extensible. You can write your own modules, deploy your own modules, and also use Salt's ability to to uh, uh, query down. Okay, give me all the hosts in our uh, East Coast data center that are running um, uh, this flavor of Linux and then apply the test to that. Is that is that part of how this came about? Yeah, and well, and the the really interesting thing about Adobe is Adobe is made up of many uh, disparate teams that have come into Adobe through acquisitions over the years, like many mm -hmm. big companies. Um, and so, you know, just like ZipRecruiter, we have you know, lots of different technology stacks and lots of different infrastructures. We do still have Windows, um, and Hubble does run on Windows. And so we needed something that could run everywhere and, you know, send all that information back to a central place. Um, it In the end, it turned out, you know, once this went Adobe wide, we realized that we couldn't that we couldn't necessarily require all teams to deploy Salt Stack because you know mm -hmm. some teams were using uh, you know Chef or uh, Puppet or Ansible. You know we, we haven't standardized those tools across Adobe, and so um, what we ended up doing was using Salt as a library. Um, we actually just import Salt and use all, use all of its you know abstraction tools and modular uh, uh, capabilities to do this without necessarily needing a salt master and minion relationship. Um, and then we send all of that data back to Splunk, uh, which is a shared uh, piece of technology that we use across the company. Uh, but Hubble also supports other less expensive solutions for the reporting end. So 